Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on record. Let's understand the record type check scenario uh, that I'm going to implement with the help of record triggered flow. So in this demonstration, I will be explaining how you can apply the record type check. So the scenario is we need to create two record types named as partner case and customer case on case object. Now, after creation of any case record, we need to count like how many partner cases and how many customer cases are related to particular account. And that counting we need to populate into two separate custom fields. Those will be available on the account record. So first of all, I'm going to create two record types, partner case and customer case. So jumping into developer edition org and here in the object manager, we need to search for case object. And here un under record type, you can create new record types. So whenever you want to create record type on case, so you need to create a support process as well, because in case of case object, the status pick list is basically uh, controlled with the help of support process. So I'm going to create a support process first. So here you can see the status field pick list values are available, new working escalated and closed. So I'm just having all those and clicking on save. So this support process is created. Now, if we go to case object, so we will be able to create the record types on case properly. So I am just clicking on new. Now here you can see we need to provide the record type label. So naming it as partner case, then support process, then make available for all the profiles. Then we need to select the layout. So layout I'm keeping as case layout, then save and new so that you can create one more record type. So this time, Record type label is customer case, record type name is customer case, support process, I'm choosing case support process, then available for all the profiles, clicking on next, then case layout, and this time I'm clicking on save. So this way, two record types are created on case object, one is customer case and one is partner case. Now we need to jump to account object, and we need to create two fields. So I'm going to create first field as of type number. So total partner cases, clicking on next, visible to all the profiles, again, clicking on next available on all the page layouts and clicking on save. So this way, total partner cases field is created. I'm going to create one more field and its label will be total customer cases. Clicking on next, visible to all the profiles, next and save. So this way, two record types and two custom fields are created. Now it's time to jump to flow so that we can create automation. So I'm just selecting record trigger flow. Now here we need to select the object as case because on case creation, we need to update the custom fields. Those are available on the account record. So a record is created and here uh, we need to apply the condition. So condition I'm keeping like account ID is null false. So it means if case is related to any account, then only we need to run the flow. And uh, 
from these two options i am selecting actions and related record because this flow will be initiated on case creation but it will be updating the account record so i just clicked on done now here i need to apply a report type check so let's first have a decision and inside this decision like we can have report dot report type so here you can see we have report type id option okay so we need to compare this report type id with particular report type that we created on case but we cannot manually or we cannot hard code record id record type id here because if you deploy this flow from one org to another org so in that case record type id will be changed right so what we need to do instead of hard coding record type id we need to get record type with the help of get record element so first we need to get partner case record type so here you need to search for record type so record type is basically an object so whenever you create any record type so record type information will be available with this record type object now here you can search for developer name developer name is similar to api name for the record types so now you just need to go to object manager search for case and from record types you can just copy the developer name so if you open i just need to open the partner case record type so here you can see this is the record type developer name so i just copied it and i am pasting it here then only the first record and automatically store all the fields then i am clicking on done so this way i just uh, got the partner case information now i am just going to use it one more time so that we can have customer case record type as well so we need to apply the same steps we need to choose the record type object here we need to use the developer name equals then this time i need to select customer case and its developer name so i'm putting it here and uh, everything will be same now i clicked on done so this way we have both the record type information now i can apply the decision check record type right so here i am writing partner case so in case of record type sorry in case of record trigger flow uh, all the information of a particular record through which that record trigger flow is initiated is available in this dollar record variable so from here you can just search for record type id equals and then you can search for this get partner case so this get partner case record type and then dot id so it will give you the id right then you can have one more outcome so it will be customer case and here also you can write record dot record type id equals and this time you need to select get customer case record type dot id so this way we have applied the record type checks so we have these two outcomes so i am just going to implement the partner case outcome first so here what i need to do i need to fetch all the cases and then i will be counting their number and i will be updating the related account so here i am going to use get record so get partner cases object is case and where account id equals dollar record dot account id so the account sorry the case record which you created it is related to particular account right so now we are getting all the cases which are related to that particular account and uh, those information will be available in the, in this get partner cases and we need to fetch all the records and uh, click on done now we need to create a new resource as a variable 
count. So its data type is number and uh, rest of the things I'm keeping as is. And here I'm going to use assignment variable. So we need to calculate partner cases count and we need to store that into counter variable. So here we can have equals count and get partner cases. So whatever record, whatever number of reports are available in this partner cases. So uh, that will be counted and it will be available in this count variable. Now, after this, we need to have one update record element because we need to update the related account. So update account. And here we need to choose the second option. Sorry, we need to choose this third option. And here I am choosing account as an object. Now, which account we need to update? So I'm just matching ID equals dollar record dot account ID. So the newly created case is having account ID populated. So uh, that account ID uh, matches whichever uh, account record uh, that account we need to update. And here we have these fields like total partner cases and we need to assign count here. So this way, the related account will be updated with the latest counting of the partner cases records. Now, same steps I need to apply here for customer case, right? So I am just having, okay, what I can do, I can just copy this and I can paste it here. And I'm going to change everything. So get customer cases, Then case object account ID, this will be same. Okay, one more thing uh, we need to apply. So uh, if we are on partner case, so here we need to apply record type check as well. So uh, we, we are just getting uh, cases. So actually what will happen, it will fetch all the cases related to that account, but we need to fetch uh, the cases uh, where record type is partner case. So here I need to search for record type ID equals and then get partner cases dot record type ID, right? So this you need to add here and here as well. In this, we need to select this customer case and its record type ID. And rest of the things will remain same. Then I'm copying this assignment element as well, pasting it here. So here we need to calculate customer cases. Count equals count and get. So here we need to have get customer cases done. And I'm copying this element and uh, pasting it here. So this will be same. The thing we need to change is total customer cases. So this way, this flow is implemented in front of you, right? So this is the flow. Now it's time to save this flow and uh, do a test. So I'm naming it as count cases on account and clicking on save. Now I am activating this. So if I go to any account, so I'm opening this account record and uh, okay, in the, on this account, we already have cases. So let me open the account where there is no case. So there is zero cases. And if I go to details, so here you can see we have total partner cases and total customer cases, which is blank right now. Now I'm going to create related cases. So I clicked on new. You can see we have this option partner case and customer case record type, and it is related to this account. And then I'm putting case origin status as new, and I'm clicking on save. So one partner case is created. And if I go to the details, 
and do a refresh. So you can see total partner cases is having a value as one. Now, again, I'm going to related list and I'm going to create one more case. So this time I'm creating customer case. Clicked on save and let's create one more case as partner case. So now two partner cases and one customer case is available. And if I do a refresh, so you will see the updated values. So you can see total partner cases are two and total customer cases are one. So this way you can apply record type check in record trigger flow as per the requirement. So I demonstrated it for case object, but in real time scenario, you can apply this uh, record type check for any type of object. Do remember like whenever you need to apply record type check. So you need to first get the record type because you can't hard code record ID because it changes org to org, but developer name will be same for all the orgs. So this way, I hope you understood how we can apply a record type check and record trigger flow.